So the New England Patriots just signed Jalen Rieger, and I want to give a reaction to it because I'm sure there's some Patriots fans that are saying, he was a high draft pick just a couple of years ago, just three years ago, and he was drafted over Justin Jefferson. We might be getting a steal. But I'm just here to say, no, it's over. He's a bust. I don't want to say 100% anybody's career is over a few years in, but realistically speaking, looking from the outside, when you are a top draft pick, if a team drafts you over somebody that becomes probably the best receiver, I would say definitely at this point, the best receiver in the NFL, Justin Jefferson, the team that drafts you, oh, best believe, they're going to do whatever they can to make you work. If you're mediocre, they will force feed you the ball. They will put you as the star of their offense to try to show that, hey, we made a good decision. Hey, we made him work. The GM will be in the coach's ear like, hey, maybe we can start running some more plays for this guy. Give him a shot. They will try and make the top draft picks work at any way possible in sports in general because they don't want to be wrong on those picks. So if it doesn't work at the first spot, it's unlikely that it's going to work. But then when it's two spots, maybe sometimes the team that drafts you, A, you weren't ready yet. You needed the wake-up call of getting traded. Maybe the coaches there just weren't able to connect with you and build you up. But when it's two spots and two pretty good organizations, I would actually say two of probably the top. eh, The Eagles are a great organization, and the Vikings are a pretty good organization. When both of those teams, you're not able to work, I'm sorry, you ain't it. Remember last year? against, uh, what was it, the game against the Colts where they had the biggest comeback in NFL history and it looked like, oh, they're storming back, they're storming back. And then the big interception where clearly Jalen Jalen Rieger ran the wrong route and I thought comeback hopes are over. over. Now, Kirk Cousins and the Vikings and Matt Ryan on the other side was so bad and the Vikings were so great that they were able to make that um, historic comeback anyway. But that's just an example of Jalen Rieger was drafted based off of potential, uh, potential, athleticism, speed, but not based off of him being how good he was of a football player. He wasn't drafted over Justin Jefferson because anybody thought he was a better football player than Justin Jefferson. And this has happened in sports. Another reason I wanted to make this video. I think it happened sooner in the NBA where one player got drafted where at the time, he wasn't like a very good basketball player, but he had the potential. He had the um, he had the measurements that made it so people thought he had a chance to be a superstar, and he turned out to be a superstar. And that man is Giannis Antetokounmpo, and that was great for the Bucks to get him. But you know what happened after that? Teams thought that, oh, now we need a draft based off of potential. We need to go find the next Giannis when... There's one Giannis. You can never rely on getting the next Giannis. And so teams just started reaching. Remember Bruno Caboclo for any hardcore NBA people? Uh, he was drafted by the Raptors. And the famous line was the um, one of the draft people. I forgot who said it. I think it might have been Jay Billis. was like, uh, he's like two years away from being two years away. And then maybe we'll see. Like basically saying, this dude's not even close to being an NBA player right now. And since the Giannis got drafted in the NBA, there's been so many guys that aren't really that good of basketball players, but they get drafted high because they're long and they've got potential for this reason and that reason. And the same thing has happened in the NFL. And the moment came after um, the moment in the NBA with Giannis. And I feel like since Josh Allen, now Jalen Rieger doesn't necessarily fit in the Josh Allen category, but I just want to talk about this as a larger trend in football. He uses it as an opportunity to talk about drafting based off of potential. And I feel like the big moment in the NFL really came in with Josh Allen, who came in, inefficient passer from a small school, wasn't able to put up crazy numbers and came in not being able to throw the ball at a really good NFL level at all. was completing like half his passes. And teams have seen, oh my goodness, um, they drafted him based off of having that huge frame being 6'5", having an absolute cannon, and they were able to make it work. You know what? Now we're going to draft every athlete that we find from small schools, and we are going to draft them at the top, and we're just going to make it work. And teams have found out, Trey Lance. Uh, teams have found out. Uh, what was the other name that I just had in my head? Uh, it'll come to me. But teams are just drafting more and more based off of you know potential and things like that. And so I think that's happening across positions in the NFL where teams just are based, trying to go for the home run hit when really the best players are just the best players. The best, I mean, people have the best potential are the guys that were probably killing it in college for the most part. There are examples of players that were great in college, don't work out in the NFL, but and there are examples of guys that you know underachieved, were at smaller schools, whatever, and turn out to be great in the NFL. But 
the highest success rate is going to be picking the best guys at the moment. And most likely those are going to be more likely to be the best players than the guys that were underachievers that have athleticism. Jalen Rager is a great athlete, but not a great NFL player. And I think that we could say that with confidence at this point. So I don't think he's going to become anything for the New England, New England Patriots. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.